super fun just to get out here and look at animals and like learn about the environment. This is way more fun to me than the I know like a lot of people learn better with hands-on stuff. And like I'm one of those people who learn better with hands-on stuff. Kids learn here in a different way than what they learn in a classroom. And for some kids, not only is it fun and engaging and exciting, but they do better learning in a hands-on way. That information sticks with them. What would you describe that salinity as as a number? 10 or 12. 10 or 12, okay. The Dolphin Island Sea Lab is the marine research and education facility for the state of Alabama. We are located at the far southern portion of the state of Alabama on a barrier island known as Dolphin Island. We have the public aquarium. We have the research side of things, which is called university programs. And then Discovery Hall programs is all of our K-12 education and outreach and also professional development for teachers. And our goal here really is to increase science literacy, environmental literacy, and hopefully ocean literacy. When they go out on the boat, we drop the trawl overboard, we catch what lives in Mobile Bay, which is a, a typical river-dominated estuary, and they get to see for their own eyes that an estuary is a nursery ground for the next generation of shrimp and blue crabs and fish that we eat. So this guy right here, the snail that made that shell, hatched out of this stuff right here that looks like paper. That is a moon snail egg mass right here, which is super cool. They're just grabbing all the different fish and just having a ball. They're just having a blast. We got to see a whole bunch of big old fish and then we saw a pregnant mom with a whole bunch of babies and her stomach was really big. There are so many opportunities for these kids. We get to go out uh, in the marsh. They get stuck in the mud. Um, they sing for the organisms that live there, demonstrating to themselves, hey, there is life out here. It's an important nursery. It is something that 20 years from now, when I'm in voting age, I don't need to drain and fill. The ocean is kind of everything for STEM. You know, development of moving vessels through water is pretty uh, impressive. You know, the engineering that it takes to do that, um, especially given the inhospitable kind of conditions of the ocean. ROV is a, an acronym that stands for Remotely Operated Vehicles. It is one type of underwater robot, if you will, that we use to explore, to work in the ocean, to study um, and conduct research in the ocean. You see that brain. A lot of what I do involves the underwater robotics program. We started out drawing our design. We had a goal in mind. They were able to build something, right, tangible. They put them together, tested their design a little bit inside. Is this how we want it to look? But now we're doing the real testing, right, out in the pool behind it. So we want them to understand that concept but we also want them to understand how can we use these things to explore the oceans for maybe scientific reasons. Dolphin Island is one of my most favorite places to go. There are a host of professional learning opportunities for teachers. We were able to host teachers from Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana at Dolphin Island Sea Lab, where they met with scientists and got firsthand data about coastal issues and from there teachers were able to write lesson plans uh, and take back to their classroom. It was a great experience for them, one that they will never forget. Having them down, seeing the hands-on methods, giving them the experiences that they need in order to go back to the classroom to show students what science is about and get them excited. That's where I think um, we excel here. We have one of the few residential high school marine science programs in the summertime. This is a program in which 30 high school students who are maybe thinking about marine science or really enjoy it, they come and they live here at the Sea Lab for a month. We have a unique setup here where just across the street, we have research scientists and we have graduate students. So we bring them into the high school course as much as we possibly can um, to give guest lectures and run laboratory kind of activities um, and share the work that they're doing. Uh, and that, that definitely makes this program unique. We are in need of a next generation of ocean stewards, uh, people who understand the value 
of a healthy ocean and of healthy and resilient coastal ecosystems. And we'll either work to protect or even work to restore the ones that we have impacted. Um, so that's really what we're after.